Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got a budget beauty haul for you. Um, I wasn't ever planning on doing this, but I recently picked up some really, really good bargains and I thought I'd share them with you because I know loads of people like to know what bargains are out there and don't get me wrong, I love high-end makeup, but it's really depressing watching a haul where someone's gone and spent like £450 in MAC and you're like, no, we don't do that. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you what kind of really cheap things I picked up recently. Um, these are from Primark, Poundland, TK Maxx, yeah, that's it. Um, so I'll start with Primark, um, they will be in a Primark haul anyway, but I just picked up two things. I got some more exfoliating gloves, which were reduced to 50p, and I go, I use these all the time, and for 50p I thought it was always good to have a spare pair. Mine are looking a little bit worse for wear now as well, so I picked those up. And also I picked up one of their beauty blenders, um, which just says egg makeup sponge on it, which was £1.50. Might be rubbish, but if it's half decent, it'll be good to have as like a backup or to use on clients, things like that. So I picked up one of those. If it is good as well, I can always go and get loads more. <clears throat> so then moving on to Poundland, I just picked up one thing in Poundland. Um, I do see people put on videos where they find really good stuff in Poundland and I never ever find anything, so what Poundlands are you shopping in? <laughs> because the ones I go in only have really like scabby brands or like nail varnishes that have all separated and look like they've been there about four years and just would not come out with any pigment in at all. So I don't understand that, my Poundland is absolutely rubbish. But I found one thing and that was this um, Saint Tropez tan optimizer which is a body polish it's basically an exfoliator i have used it before um <clears throat> because i bought it in superdrug it smells really good and it is literally just basically an exfoliator to scrub your tan scrub before you tan and yeah you they did have the moisturizer as well but i'm really fussy about what moisturizers i use because of my skin i just really use aveeno and nothing else now um, so I picked that one up, obviously it was a pound in Poundland, which I thought was really, really cheap. The last two things I have are from TK Maxx. The first one I was really excited about, well actually the second one more so, but this is um, the Chroma Beauty, the Kardashian Chroma Beauty palette. This is the Kim one, Kim's Cardazzle it says whatever that is. This was reduced to 6 99 I have no idea what these cost normally, but I would assume they're probably in the £20 range, I guess. Um, it's like a snakeskin looking jobby. Um, and when you open up the top, you've got a little palette of um, blacks. Um, there's mattes and shimmers, like blacks and greys and blues on the top, which are matte. And then those are all shimmers, and that white one particularly is a really, really nice colour. They're really pigmented. I've not used them on my eyes, but I have swatched them. <clears throat> and I was surprised by how good the pigment was in them. Um, so that is the top part. And then in the bottom, this drawer like slides out, like that. And you've got a blush and a highlight and a bronzer, and that highlight shade is amazing. Even if I don't use this palette for that highlight shade, just to use that. Is, it's so good. Um, it reminds me of um, the Balm Mary Luminizer, that's what it reminds me of. It's a really, really nice colour. Um, to be honest, I don't know how much I use this, but it's really nice to have if you're going away because it's tiny, but you've got like eight eyeshadows and bronzer, highlight, and blush all in one palette, which is really, really handy to have. And it literally can just be chucked in your handbag. <clears throat> so pick that one up. I was hoping they'd have some of the other ones because the brown one I think is more like neutrals and stuff and that one I really wanted but they didn't have it in there so I just got that one. And the last thing I picked up was this which I'm so excited about and I only clocked it because there was a woman like filling her basket with them. She picked up about eight I reckon and I was like what the hell did she just pick up and there was one left and I'm gutted because I wish I'd got there first. Um, it's a Too Faced Air Buffed BB Cream. It says complete coverage makeup, medium protection. That is what it looks like. Um, I didn't know they had anything from Too Faced in TK Maxx, so I was totally really excited. It's in the colour Linen Glow, and this was £7.99. Again, don't know what they cost, but I would assume probably £20 to £30. Pounds. Looks like this. <clears throat> and on the top, it's even got a little kabuki brush. 
Look at that, you get that included. And this is like mega soft. Normally the brushes you get included with stuff are rubbish. But this one's really, really soft and nice. So you get that one in that little tube, which sits on the top, which is just such a good little idea. And then the BB cream is in here. And it's just like that. Um, I've not used this yet. Oh, it's quite solid, to be fair. But it looks like it's a really nice colour. Um, obviously it doesn't look... Well, yeah, I'm quite tanned at the moment, so it should be fine. Um, but I have no idea what this will be like. It was just the fact it was Too Faced and it was 7 99 I thought, well, Too Faced are pretty decent, so I thought it must be alright. So I just picked that one up. Gutted there wasn't more. I definitely would have picked up more. Um, but yeah, TK Maxx is totally worth going in and trawling through. Like, I go in loads of times and I sort of just look and think, nah, but you've kind of really got to have a rummage because normally the beauty shelves have been raided and it's really hard to see anything decent. So really sort of get in there and have a look, see if you can find anything because you get like, those loads of Steeler stuff in there, Elizabeth Arden, um, a lot of Bare Minerals as well, but they didn't have my colour. Um, it, but it's definitely worth going into TK Maxx and just really like taking time to have a look through the beauty stuff because there's some really good name brands in there. And that is actually everything I have to show you. It's not massive, but I thought you'd like to see some of the bargains that I've picked up recently. Um, I am going to do a Q&A soon, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will try and put them in that video. It'll probably be sort of middle to end of October, maybe November. Um, but I haven't done one on this channel and I've gotten just over 3,000 subscribers so I thought it would be time to maybe do one. Um, so yeah, any questions leave them down below. I'll link my Twitter and Instagram down below as well if you want to leave them on there. But I hope you like the video and any requests let me know and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!